what's up y'all as you can see i'm back with another dental video i'm wearing my no scrubs sweatshirt because today is a no scrub day it's an off day today's video i'll be going over the orthodontic instruments and its functions all right let's go so here's a bonding tray bonding means we're going to put braces on and this is the tray that we'll use to put the braces on so here of course we have your brackets which are your braces upper and lower so we have your mouth mirror here next we have your bracket holders this bracket holder is used to pick up the bracket. They open and close just like this. And you'll basically just open it to pick up one bracket. Just like this, you'll open it, pick up one, and then it'll basically hold the bracket in place. We also have bracket holders for the molar brackets, which are the brackets that go on the molar teeth. They are shaped a little differently, but they do open and close just like the original bracket holder. And those are your molar bracket holders. Next, we have a carver. This carver, the doctor will use to align the bracket when it's, it's on the tooth. Because each bracket has to be aligned in a certain position. These are just micro brushes, which are used to apply the conditioner and the etch on the teeth before we get the brackets on. We have your profi head here along with your profi paste which is used to clean the patient's teeth before we get the brackets on as well these here are cheek retractors used to keep the patient's mouth open so we can get all of the brackets on we also have a nola here that is used to keep the patient's tongue back our suction stays connected to this nola which allows the saliva to run through these tubes here keeping the patient dry So here we have your adjustment tray. Your adjustment tray is used for adjustment appointments, which are also called regular appointments. At those regular appointments, you'll get your wires and your colors changed. So here we have your mirror. We have a cotton plier here, which is used to take up items from the drawer instead of using your hands so everything stays sterile. Next, we have an explorer. This explorer we use to take off colors from each bracket. We have here a pusher. If you look closely, it has a small little U-shaped and it's used to help push the wire into the bracket while you tie in the bracket with the color. We have here a mat thou. We have two here on our tray. It basically closes and opens just like that. And we use these to put the colors on the brackets. Here we have a wine guard. Opens and closes just like this. And we use this to place the wire into the brackets. Here we have a distal end cutter, just like all the other pliers, open and closes, and it's used to clip wires. Here we have a ligature cutter. This is used to cut steel ties, also can be used to cut elastics. Steel ties are used to tie in brackets instead of using colors. Here is a bender, which is basically just used to place bends in the wires. And here we have a stepper, and this is used to place steps in the wires. So here we have your debond tray. Debond means you'll get your braces removed, and this is the tray that we'll use when we take the braces off. So 
So we have your mouth mirror. We have a scaler here, which is just used to remove any plaque that's underneath the brackets or in the way. We have here a bond remover, which removes the brackets and then come off pretty easily with this plier here. Here we have two cheek retractors, which are used to keep the cheeks away when we take our final photos. We also have another cheek retractor here for the upper and the lower lip. Also have this mouth mirror here used to get pictures as well. So here we have your retainer tray. This is a tray used to adjust your retainer when you come in for retainer checks. So we have your mouth mirror here. And we have your three nose plier. And if you look closely, it has three little noses. That's why it's called three nose plier. And this plier is used basically to adjust holly retainers, which are your metal retainers. The doctor may have a preference for this plier here. This one is called a long nose plier and it only has two little noses and it's long. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.